gonna start off here at the entrance area since the new place where I am living is a tall building having several stories so there is definitely elevators provided I am living on the second floor due to German system or basically the third floor in an Asian system the building is divided into two different sides that side belongs to the odd room numbers like um, 201, 203, 205 and so on and this side belongs to even numbers which is I am living for instance like 202, 204, 206, 208 and then so on after we enter the main door we will see the big shared kitchen this kitchen is just like um, two or three times bigger than the previous one that I used to live in. We do have our own compartments. There's gonna be the number of our room written. Here we can store our things that we use in the kitchen. And we are also provided with the used refrigerator. Again, inside it, um, there are also organized space with our own room number written again so that we can know where we should put our own groceries in and here is for frozen food with our own room number written again this shelf is specifically additional area where we can store things that we do not want to keep them in the refrigerator like rice or sauces or just like those kind of things the big table and chairs are also given. We do have the area for cooking right here. Most interesting about the kitchen is undeniably the huge balcony provided here. We can have a seat around here, appreciating nature and sunshine. Sometimes looking down below, we will see somebody playing down there. Sometimes this is also a place where we gather together with some other people from the other side of the building to have a little shade chat here. Since there are just like um, 7 to 9 people living here together, there are several bathrooms and toilets provided for sufficient use. Here we have one toilet here. Once we open this door, we are now approaching to other several shared bathrooms and toilets like one, two, three, and here, and also here. We also have another bathroom here, and this bathroom is where I use most often because it is really close to my own room. And this is my own private area. and. Welcome everybody to my paradise! Once you open the door, you will just right away see that there is the personal sink offered to me. So I do not have to share it to anybody else just like I share the bathrooms or toilets or the kitchen. And this is where I brush my teeth and wash my face or my hands. I also have a mirror here and behind it, it is another space where I use to store my um, personal pills or medicine or something related to my own personal care. On the opposite side, there is a built-in closet here. I think it's really big and there is sufficient and enough space for me to keep my own clothing stuff. And I just found out something really interesting that if I adjust the door this way, it is just like I am having another room which is clearly separated from the bedroom area. And ladies and gentlemen, welcoming to my own haven. I really love this room. I am gonna bring you guys to see corners by corners. Starting with this big shelf, it is the accommodation provided from the dormitory. I use the first level for the lights I love. This level I devote it for my own skincare and my valuable babies like my purse, my bag, my sunglasses, my cap. And this level is also for my lovely shoes that I do keep my shopping bags. I really love them. 
and you can see another light bulb here. This space is for storing my money, and the last two levels are devoted for storing the personal stuff like things I use in the bathroom or for laundry, laundry that have not been opened yet. And this is for the food I store like rice, canned food, or instant noodles or chips. This big desk is also given. I bought this tall lamp from IKEA. These folders are also bought from IKEA as well. These ones too for storing my stationaries. I also have another small light here with my little artificial tree. I bought this one from Amazon for, put for putting all the important notes on reminding me of what I should do. This fur is also from H&M Home, making me feel more comfortable sitting here and working on it. This is my another favorite corner. I bought and put the tall mirror here decorated with the light and had the artificial tree standing beside it. I do also have another white fur here making it more cozy to spend some time sitting here in this area. This is my bed corner where I put on another light and my personal stuff like iPods, iPads or my phone. And here is for leaving my electronic devices charged. And this is my most favorite corner, my bed. It's really comfy and cozy, making me the laziest person on earth. I have some friends along here, as you can see, my brow, my bear, my little bears, and my little shop. Um, I also decorated a bed with lights again. Here I put on some motivational quotes so that I can be motivated right after I wake up. And last but not least, I really love the natural view I got from this room. I really love to keep um, the window open and sit here while doing some small works or looking out and appreciating the beautiful nature. As you can see from the room that I do have a lot of lines decorated on. Why? Why do I have to have a lot of it? Um, because during the night, it is extremely beautiful and romantic. And I will show you guys how my room looks in the dark. So let's see. This is, this is 